So Edwin, in the first instance, can you tell us a little bit about your practice? Well, I work with sound and, and I draw. And when I've had enough of working with the sound, I start drawing. And that helps me when I, then I draw, and then that helps me get back into the sound again. Do you consider yourself more as an artist or a, as a musician, and is there any distinction? I see myself as an artist, and there is a, uh, a difference between an artist and a musician. If you're involved in it, as it, let's say it's your career, as in I was involved in the music industry for a while, but now I'm definitely an artist and I'm involved in the art. Can you tell us a bit more about the workshop that you ran today? I was very nervous about doing it um, because of showing my practice and how I make work. But obviously you can't just tell a group of people, let's just do something. You have to have some sort of restriction. Um, so that's what we did. We, I, I played some uh, pieces that I'd already done. Yeah. And I blacked out the room. It was really nice because you had the mirror. Yeah. So you had all the lights of all the, all the kit glowing. And, and then you sat down and you listened to these pieces of work. I hope I I hope something special happened. I think the first piece of work we did, the sound piece, was good. I think I'm going to just tweak it a little bit. Um, I think it was actually very a scare, it was a very scary piece of sound because subconsciously or whatever, or subliminally, what actually started coming out of it was quite hard and nasty. But I think these are things that we all think about, which is money um, and relationships um, and, wanting, and wanting both these things and trying to sort of keep these things so they can keep each other. Yeah. And I, I could feel that anxiety in there, yeah. even though it was all slapdash and stuff. But there was yeah. definitely, an, uh, well, listening to it the second time, yeah. there was definitely an anxiety Money. in there. Money. 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 Edwin, can you tell us what is it that got into sound and art? Okay. Uh, I got into using sound in art um, because I was involved in the music industry for a long time, working with different bands and getting involved in bands and things like that. And it never, it never really quite worked, but I learned that craft and I learned that, um, that practice. So when I decided to become an artist, um, I wanted to use all that. I didn't want to just throw that all that, all that, year, all that year's craft away. So, um, I'm using it, and it's very, it's very easy for me to, to uh, work with sound, yeah. particularly now as well, because yeah. of, uh, now, now we have the technology to be, for it to become a lot more instant. That's what used to really frustrate me before, right, was yeah. uh, the problem with the technology, the hardware. Yeah. It's too much hardware. Yeah. You know, it, it's much better now that you can have a, a laptop and, and, and some speakers and a microphone, and, you, and it's about the ideas then. What are some of the ideas that you explore in your work, and does your work have an, an agenda? I've noticed that I do have an agenda over the years of doing it. Is um, I'm definitely attracted to greed and gluttony and uh, food, booze, sex, money. Um, I kind of despise all these things as well, as much as want them and want them more and more of it. Um, and that's kind of what I've, I, at the moment I'm talking about, yeah, and, and saying it's actually wrong. Yeah. It, you know, discipline's good, self-discipline yeah. is good, it gets things done and you're healthier, but I can't seem to do it, and yeah. I think a lot of people can't seem to do it. Yeah. What has been the most unusual sound project that you've worked on? I made a piece for a show that's on at the moment, actually, it's a, it's a drawing I did, and I made a sound work for it, oh, right, yeah. and um, the, the, the piece is called Garbage, so I just, I recorded loads of, um, I even don't know this man's name because I despise him so much. Jeremy Clarkson right, okay. and uh, Simon Cowell talking together in Top Gear, which is one of the most, that's why we're, that's why we're in deep trouble, I think, things like that. Um, these two men just getting off each other. and So I recorded that and then, yeah, I recorded myself going for a shit, basically, yeah, yeah. over them. <laughs> and because um, they, they sound the same. When you think of young people, what sounds do you think of? Frustration, right. it's like a frustrated sound like that when you, know, when you did that scream. I think there's that, that high pitched wail was a, was, a, was a good sound for youth, particularly yeah. London youth. 
yeah. and what's <laughs> happening to my city. Yeah. I, I, I definitely think that's a sound. What role does the audience play in your work? When you're a musician or a singer or in a band, you're, you're, you're kind of proving something. So you're in that space, like a venue or whatever it is. So there's, there's, there's all these rules. And what's great about making performance art or showing that in a gallery or in these particular areas is that you, can, you don't have any of them rules and that you don't have to make people enjoy themselves, or, um, which is really good because they're not necessarily involved in critique. Some of the performance stuff I've done has become quite sort of like shamanistic, yeah. and uh, you kind of go into like this sort of place, and that which I really enjoy, yeah. and it, it wears you out. But it's a very, I think it's a very important place for one to go to, or for people. When I say one, I mean me, to get, or a person to go to, and also for people to witness that. And it's not about wanting to be watched or anything. Um, it is like I think it's like an old magic thing. Only thanks for your time and it's been a pleasure working with you and all the best in the future. Oh, thank you. Okay. And you.